Okay, hey guys, so um, uh, we want to do example four and five here for uh, section 4.3, and we'll be out of here, okay? Uh, so um, if we look at this real quick, this is another exponential growth formula for interest. Now, if you recall, here's the formula we had on the left there from uh, for a compounded interest from section 4.1, but this was compounded a certain number of times in a year. Okay, and the number of compoundings was n. So if you remember, n was the number of compoundings. Okay. Um, now, you might see that this looks quite a bit like the definition of the number e. Okay, quite a bit. Uh, the definition of the number e is 1 plus 1 over n to the n. Uh, this is 1 plus r over n to the nt, but it's fairly close to the number e, except uh, here we're not, n is not going towards infinity, okay? n is not going towards infinity. And so um, this is just a number of compoundings. Now, continuously compounded interest is different. Continuously compounded interest uh, says what happens if we compound infinitely many times. Compound as soon as money is, uh, 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 as soon as I earn interest, I compound again, I compound again, I compound again. Okay? So basically, if this n, the number of compoundings goes towards infinity, uh, this is what we're talking about. This is basically what we're talking about. Um, so, again, I would challenge you to take this function and this function, graph them together, okay, on your calculator, and then see what happens if you let n get bigger and bigger and bigger. So as this n value gets very bigger, as n, uh, <laughs> very big, sorry, as n approaches infinity, you're basically going to approach a equals p e to the r t. Okay, so that's what I mean by compounded interest, co uh, uh, continuously compounded interest, compounded as much as I can, as often as I can, uh, basically the fastest growth you can get for your money. Okay, so, but notice e is the base of this exponential function. Very strange, very interesting. How does this work? Uh, why is it e? Very difficult, okay? Uh, this is what uh, mathematicians came up with, that base e exponential growth, uh, in this case, would represent continuously compounded growth, basically the best type of uh, um, compounded growth for your money that you can get. Okay, so, so let's look at the formula again. This will be given to you. This will be given to you. Um, and A is the amount of my account, just like in our previous function. A is the amount in my account after T years, uh, where P is the principal, the amount I deposit initially, and R is the annual interest rate. Okay, so most of them are the same, meaning they were in our previous formula. Right, so you're just substituting things into the formula and applying it. You're not really solving a problem here, you're just applying it. So um, I'm going to write down the formula here, equals PE to the RT. And then uh, let's identify the parts of the prompt that go into the formula. So you deposit 4000 in an account that pays 6% interest compounded continuously. Please, you need to look for this word, compound continuously tells you I have to use this formula. Okay, if it says compounded annually or something like that, then it means you're going to use the other formula. Okay, and then uh, what's the balance after one year? All right, so um, this is just a straightforward question. Plug stuff in. Uh, this is my principal, the initial amount. This is my growth rate, which is 0 0.06. And then this is my T, which is 1. And if you plug this stuff in, you get, uh, oh, sorry, not P, you get $4,000 E to the RT, which is 0 0.06 times 1. And if you punch that in your calculator, you get approximately 4247.35 dollars. Okay? Um, that's quite a lot of growth in one year. It's quite a lot of growth in one year. Okay, uh, Definitely faster growth than uh, this compounding interest formula that we learned last class. Okay, 
so that's the gist of that. Uh, and then the last one, again, sorry for this. This is supposed to just say L over here. Uh, the length L in centimeters of a tiger shark can be modeled by this function. Hey, the biology example. Um, y E, very interesting that E is the number that shows up in the function. Okay. Um, where T is the shark's age in years. So graph the model on your calculator, then use your graph to estimate the length of a tiger shark that's three years old. Hmm. I'm not too sure about this application. I'm trying to think how you would know a shark's age before you know its length. Interesting. Okay, any case, maybe you can work backwards or something. Uh, any case. Um, so, so, so. Uh, graph the model you calculate, then use your graph to estimate the length of the tiger shark that is three years old. So, if you graph this on your calculator, uh, what you're doing is graphing this L equals 337 minus 276e to the negative 0.178t. And then uh, they say when he is three years old, estimate his length. Okay? Graph the model you calculate as you graph to estimate when it's three years old. So three years old is a time, this is a t value. So if you graph this on your calculator and then you trace to x equals 3. So and again, on your calculator there's no L and T. So what you're actually graphing is y equals 337 minus 276e to the negative 0.18x. Okay? You're graphing this and you trace to x equals 3. And what you should get is, if you do that, uh, y, which is L, is approximately one, uh, sorry, 175.2 centimeters. Okay, and you can verify this by just entering it in your calculator as well. Uh, you should be able to just do this as well. This is just uh, Y equals three or sorry let me let me not use y now if you're going to do it straight away you can just say it's l equals three three seven minus two seventy six e to the negative zero point one seven eight times three should be the same answer okay and so if you do that let's see i'm gonna do it on my calculator here on the side real quick uh e to the negative 0 0.178 times 3. Yeah, that's what you get, okay? Uh, it's the exact, well, the closer answer is 175.1935, so on, so on, so on, okay? So I just rounded to 175.2 centimeters. So that's that, that's just an application and just to show you that people use these things in uh, real life, all right? Thanks, guys.